have that time. And when you have time with Jesus in the church, and you're not working in that factory or working in that world with people all around you, woo! Let me tell you, Jesus, come to church and do what can I do for the church? Just look around and say, Lord, what can I do for you?
church, even you that have never felt before, but this is a protection. Oh, glory. Yes. Thank God for the good. Yes, sir. From all who come and do. All we got to do is stay faithful to God, church, and God will stay faithful to us. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the praise service and thank God for his testimony. And praise report. Uh, Elijah Samaya, $200. Amen. Elijah Shiloh, $200. Amen. Amen. Elijah Samaya, $200. 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 Amen. Elijah make away uh, this time. Nevertheless, those who have give to those who have not. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says uh, in the second chapter of the book of Acts, they had all things in common Amen. and shared as each had a need. So I thank God again for a true light. I thank God for this message we have made. And let's go to speak about it. We are the true church of God. They had several ministers over uh, Fox News this morning, mm -hmm. 25,000 membership and 15,000 membership and all the mega churches, but they didn't have true light. Amen. Amen. It's not strange, but I, I do wonder, right. why don't you have the true church? Amen. Amen. You got all these false churches and I declare them false. Amen. By false. testimony. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say it. Amen. And I'm not rebuking, yes. The Bible says rebuke before all that those who are uh, outside the ark of safety in so many words might be ashamed. Amen. So again, we do reprove and rebuke with all long suffering. Amen. But the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And that time is here right now. So again, with this plague raging, Amen. I heard a report this morning on the way to church. Don't y'all hear me? Mm. Y'all listen? Amen. 18,000 died yesterday in America. Mm. That's almost 20,000 a day. Can't last much longer. Man. Won't be nobody left to die. All right. Point I'm trying to make here. If you think this ain't the beginning of the end, you 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 something wrong with your mind. Amen. And all you gotta do is turn on the news for a few moments. I I I, I can't watch it too much longer. I just turn it off. Amen. Amen. That goes to the movie channel. Amen. Right, right. I tell you, because it's a reality yep. that seems like a dream. It seems like a Hollywood movie. Amen. Twenty thousand people die in one day. How many gonna die tomorrow? If twenty thousand died to, uh, yesterday, how many gonna die today? How many gonna die tomorrow? How many died last week? Yeah. Now, thing is supposed to be winding down, nope. but there was eight, I think eighteen thousand the previous day, and twenty thousand the next day. So it seems like to me that's progressing. Right. That ain't that ain't digressing. Yeah. That's progressing. They're looking for the summit to where it can start coming down. They may reach that summit, but I wonder how many are going to be left when they reach that summit. Right? <laughs> but one thing is for, uh, for certain, we need to stay under the blood covering. Man. And I, I've decided, I think it might be necessary, uh, I'm going to wait and see. It might be necessary Monday to start the food program. Amen. And at 5 o'clock, those who need a hot meal, can come to the church and get a hot meal. So we're going to start that this Monday. Those who have need, it's not mandatory, but those who have need, we're going to have a hot meal every day at 5 o'clock. And now that's heaven's going to be in charge, but you're going to have to have some help. Those who are able, give a helping hand. Amen. Also, they're calling me, and they're calling, and they're calling. But let me say this. If you left true light, I've offered how for the last few months opportunity Amen. to come back. Amen. They still have not come back. Now the decision is theirs. And also make <laughs> yeah. diverse days ahead. Oh yes. You don't know. The one thing's for certain, we're gonna try to be prepared. Amen. The Bible says be wise your servant, Thomas is those. Yeah. So the sacrifice you make is for the kingdom here. That all of us can be in one accord. And then when God sends the judgment down, 
we can hear him say, well done, that good and faithful servant. And we've been obedient to the will of the Lord. Yeah. True. That's be obedient. And I feel good in my soul. Amen. Let me hear from your happy voice. Well, I found me a solid rock when I found Christ. Yes, I found me a solid rock when I found Christ. Yes, I did. All of the problems I can think of to him, I know he solved every one of them. I tell you, I found a solid rock.
to make that change. Yeah. Yeah. And when we realize the Holy Ghost comes to guide us in all truth, but the Holy Ghost never comes to someone who's not seeking after the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Seek and you shall find. Yeah. As it shall be given, knock and the door shall be opened. Yeah. Now the point I want to make this morning, you got to be looking for God if you want to find God. Amen. Amen. You got to be looking for salvation if you want salvation. Amen. We cannot sit back idly and let the world go by thinking that some way or another God's going to perform a miracle and we all of a sudden are going to say, oh uh, Lord, I believe the Bible. Uh, no, it's up to the individual to make a decision now. God gives us all a choice to make and an intellect to make that choice according to our faith. So faith is the instrument that creates a belief on something that is not tangible, something you can't grasp in a physical context, mm -hmm. but it's still faith. I've got to believe it. Why? Somebody told me about Jesus. Amen. So I want to find out more about this Jesus. And the more you are seeking, the more you got to find. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you got a question you, you can't answer yourself, keep looking. And the question yeah. will be answered. But do you want to accept the answer when it comes? Right. Amen. Amen. Are you willing to accept the moral codes of God when they come to you? Or will you accept part of God but not all of you? Scripture of no private interpretation. I can't make it read the way I want to read, and you make it the way you want to read, and somebody down the street make it read the way he wanted to read. You have to take the Bible in its right application, but it has to be taught by a teacher God has sent. Now, in my text this morning, I want to, in Acts, was that 10th chapter? Mm -hmm. uh, jump right in verse 3. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. Wait, said him what? Cornelius. Call him by his name. Amen. Amen. Anytime you're looking for God, he will come directly to you. Amen. And he'll call you by your name. If you were, now, not necessarily uh, Evangelist Evans or Evangelist Rogers or Evangelist this uh, elder. No, he comes to you directly that you know inside. Yes. God is calling me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's calling each individual. What it means in this context, calling by name, yes. it's talking about each individual. He ain't calling you from 
talking, he's talking from the crowd, yeah. but he's not talking to the crowd. Amen. So you may be in a crowd, but if he calls you, he calls you. All right. So you got to make the decision to come and agree. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy alms are come up for me and for, for a memorial before God. Now, memorial is something that you do in a past event. Amen. Now, he had been paying his tithes and worshiping and praising God, even though he really didn't know who he was praising and didn't know actually where his money was going. Amen. But he still was praying, yeah. and he still was giving his tithes. Oh, glory. Amen. When you make up your mind that you want to find God, you will not let anything stop you from following Him. Amen. Somebody had told him about giving to the church. And he gave, even though he wasn't saved, somebody had told him about Jesus, even though he didn't have the Spirit of Christ within. Amen. Not at that time. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, when you are on fire for the Lord, there's nothing on this earth that's going to stop you from finding Him. Amen. But when you make up your mind, and God call you by name, you got to do something about it. Hallelujah. And then God will do the rest. As you know the story, Cornelius was wanting to uh, uh, find God. He wanted to get saved, but he didn't know exactly how. But one thing he knows, somebody had told him about paying his tithes. Somebody had told him about this great God, hallelujah, that's bigger than anybody else. He was bigger than the Caesar that he served because he was a Roman general, hallelujah. Amen. So, hallelujah, he made his mind. He was going to turn back and keep living for him. And just finally, God came to him and told him, where are you going to get saved? All right, brother, amen. He said, go down there and find Peter. And Peter was going to worship him. the door. And you heard me say that many times. It just, it, just, it just goes through me. He walked through the door with the door being closed. Amen. Hallelujah. Walked through the door with the door being closed. Wow. And told Thomas, here, put your hand on my side. Yes. Right. And Thomas fell on his knees and said, my Lord, yeah, and my, my God. God. How do you are because he was the Lord and you was his God. Oh, yeah. 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 You can't find another mega 
Glory. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Blind man was healed. He said, where is he? Yeah. He said, I don't know. Yeah. But you better find him when you step. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. So, we today are amidst a perverse generation church. There's so much unbelief and so much mockery of the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's what gets me is the mockery. Yes. Well, you, you can live any kind of way you want. I, I, I had to disconnect someone the other day and disfellowship him and, and cause his phone number out and blot his phone number out. Amen. Once saved, always, I said, how can you possibly be teaching that? Yeah. He didn't really go and teach a Bible class. You're going to teach once saved, always saved. Yeah. Deceiving yeah. multitude, whoever listen to you. Amen. Whether you've got a crowd or not. Amen. Once saved, always. I can do what I want to do. Mm. Didn't Paul say, shall we continue in sin with grace at the bound? God forbid. Amen. Hallelujah. Getting the, the book of Hebrews said, give me Hebrews again, third Amen. chapter. Now, here, we've got to understand mm. the word of God cannot be compromised. You can't make up scriptures because that's where you want it to be. Amen. You've got to follow the word of God the way God intends for it to be. Right. Well, where am I at? Hebrews. Is that, yes. Is that verse? Take heed, brethren. Take heed, church. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Now, brethren means church. Amen. He's not speaking to unsaved people. Yeah. He's speaking to saved people. This is in the dispensation of grace. Hebrews is under the grace dispensation. Apostle Paul wrote it. Take heed, church. That there be any of you an evil heart of what? Unbelief. And doing what? Departing from the living God. You, it, it, departing means to leave away from. Amen. What? The living God means the truth of the living word. Amen. If you leave away from the truth, you can't be saved. So the Bible says, be careful. Be warned. Amen. Don't go to no other direction. Don't, don't go to another gospel. Paul said, there's not another gospel. Amen. Any time the prophet preach the gospel, you got to stand by that teaching and the apostle never preach that you can, two women can marry each other, Amen. two men can marry each other. The apostle never taught that. The apostle never taught you can decorate your face. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Family members leave. Mm -hmm. Loved ones leave. Mm -hmm. Friends leave. What are you going to do about it? Amen. Are you going to stay? Lord. Or are you going to follow them? Right. If you follow them, how are they going to come into the church yeah. if you leave the church too? Amen. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. I don't care how stubborn a conscience a person has. When they see these events, taking place every day. Come, and these people dying like flies. Come, Pretty man. soon they're going to say, well, well, wait a minute, what's going on? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ain't nobody working? Yep. Listen, what are they going to do when the banks close? Amen. Amen. If this thing keeps going another the way it's going, a month or two, let me tell you something, the banks ain't going to be open either. Yeah. Now what about the food? What about the food handlers? Who's handling your food? You got the virus? You ever thought about that? Amen. Who putting the meat in the cellophane and putting it 
Yeah. To go to the distributors. Mm -hmm. right. Somebody do it. Amen. Lord, what he got nothing. One thing said, I'm going to pray. All right. Amen. 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 Because when the death angel sees the blood, he's going to pass over. Church. Mary Magdalene was living for God. Even though she had to go to the graveyard, he finally told her, it's not the place where you're looking for me. But since you're here, Amen. 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 Cornelius, somebody told him about Jesus. Mm. He didn't know nothing about no Bible with Jesus. The only thing he knew, somebody told him to keep on praying. Amen. And he never stopped praying until God sent an angel to tell him where to go to get saved. Hallelujah. In that business. In that business. Go find Peter. Paul Simon. Yep. Amen. And I'll tell you where you live. Amen. Come to me. Close. And you didn't make it way that you went right to the end of the world. Sometimes you got to follow the direction to find where you want to go. And that's why it's always good to know who's guiding you, Amen. who's teaching you, and who's giving you the proper direction. That's if you don't go the wrong way. And right today you see multitudes going the wrong way. All oh, yeah. these mega churches, they got on TV one after another. Warren, out of, where's he got a Southern Cal? Uh, it's big Pastor Warren, the one who changed his website now. Sodomites yeah. got on. Rick Warren. Rick, 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 got on. He Rick Warren. He changed his whole website. I mean, like, yeah. before he out. Yeah, he did. I ain't talking about no next year. Amen. You against us? And you, you, you homophobic, too? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Well, it's on your web. Okay. Two days later, he can change his whole way. Amen. Your peace, sin. If God said it's sin, it's sin. Why are you ashamed? Because you ain't no preacher. Amen. Amen. You're a preacher of me, but you ain't a preacher of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I dare to challenge me. Amen. And we have to talk to those guys. <laughs> I'll be glad for the accolades of being in first place. Amen. 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 I bet you have Amen. Amen. I thank God for the word this morning. I want you to be encouraged. Lord, amen. I want you to understand God has specially called you. Specially called you. Don't go back on him. Amen. And keep praying. And keep a positive thought around you. Yes. Amen. All this negativity you see, sometimes you got to turn them loose off. Amen. That's right. Amen. This ain't about me. No right. Amen. Amen. It's not. It is not. It's about me. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be afraid to be the person. Every situation you come up to, if necessary, God will protect us. He's going to bless us. He's going to bring us through this storm because He promised. You've got to have a church Amen. without a spot or wrinkle. And we are that church. Amen. And if you tell us, we know how to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's not be a part of them who have turned their back on God mm. and mocked the church. Amen. And if they come back, you'll find out that they're real. All right, Bob. Thank you, Lord. All right. All right. <laughs> Positive. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. 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 Yeah, Praise the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Great, great word. Amen. Father Shulman is a great man of God. Yes. Sick and anointed by God. Amen. Testimony in the backbone and courage to prove it. Oh, yeah. I believe you two know that by now. Amen. 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 In that given, all praise honor and glory to our great God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, all our father David Walker. Thank you, David Walker. Walker. I love the memory and legacy. Amen. Amen. Uncle Ronald Walker, we got the same family and friends. Amen. Love everybody in Jesus' name. And again, Papa spoke about Cornelius. Amen. And that's a great testimony to give to the church, not really 
a part of the church. Amen. And uh, I've shared my little testimony. Wasn't that much money. Amen. But uh, that before I came to life, I was single. Amen. Didn't have any children. And um, back then, you didn't get that much money from your income tax. So uh, I think I had about four or five hundred dollars. Praise God. So for some reason, now I get this. Now, but in true life yet, what to say? Amen. So why did I spend that four hundred dollars? So I got baptized a lot, joined True Life in October. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, I mentioned the prophet about the little money I had. He said, "Give to the church." I gave to the church and give to the church every since. Amen. 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 You see how God works? Mm -hmm. You know, people in the world, man, they get money, man, they get a, a dollar to burn their pocket. Praise God. <laughs> but thank God, we give to the church, church, and love it. Amen. Amen. Who mm -hmm. that still is money? Got to need for that money, amen. They amen. have it, they going back and forth and all that. Forget all the positive about it. Need that money now, praise amen. God. But thank God. All the money that's coming for the church, amen. amen. I'm going to make everybody all say, Lord, we got to keep praying for him, amen. amen. But again, we ain't coming down to him. What did Nehemiah say? No, I'm doing great work. Praise amen. God. They want us, they better come up to us. We ain't going down to nobody, amen. amen. We love them, pray for them. But we lose our salvation, amen, because if we lose our salvation this morning, how can we pray to me? That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. So they can't call with no guilt trip or whatever kind of trip they're talking about. How come you make a trip with you like? Forever. Make it a one-way trip, amen. Right. Not a round trip, a one-way trip. Right. So we thank God for the blood protection, amen, from this virus. Yes. I tell you, we just thank God for Lord. the blood. Yes. Oh, yes. For the children. Yes. For our prophets. Right. Healing us, amen. We are truly a blessed, victorious people. Oh, yes. And brother Earl, we are more than conquerors, amen. Mm -hmm. Why the church ain't full? What 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 are people waiting for? I was in somewhere other day and uh they didn't have something I wanted, so I had to go somewhere else and he, he make a comment, half and just half laughing, where well, the world comes to any uh, world comes to an end anyway. Well, how come you try to make preparations? Amen. The world comes to an end, that means uh you going one place or another. And I just smiled and walked on out, amen. Mm. So people making fun of this virus, amen. amen. But they don't know. Nope. They so got to spend eternity somewhere. Right. And we made my mind, we going up there. Not for the secret gold, not for the mansion, but to see God's face in peace. And hear those words. Oh. Well done. Well done. God's good up, baby, sir. Lord. You might be encouraged, amen. Yeah. Get a pop up the hand, amen. Yeah. Go to the church at night. Yeah. Amen. Now we've all been blessed and full. Now we all stand to be a smith. Say, Lord, what? So you mean thee? While we're asking, one from another. In Jesus' name, amen.